So why are essential amino acids so essential? Well, let me explain this to you guys. So let's say you're building a house and you're able to source your nails and your uh, wood from, you know, local wood. You can go chop that down, make it yourself. Let's just say, for instance, but you need the cement for the foundation and you need the bricks. So how do you get those things? You can't make them yourself. So you go and you buy them, right? So essential amino acids are very similar in this, in that if you want, if your body needs these amino acids specifically, the only way to get them is by eating them. So we can't make them in our bodies. The, un, the non-essential amino acids are the amino acids our body can actually create. So that is why when we say you need 120 grams of protein or one gram of protein per body weight, the reason is, is because we need to get in those essential amino acids. So when you guys are working out really hard, if you don't eat properly, you're never going to get results. A lot of us think, oh, if I just starve myself or I eat really little and I work out a lot and I go on the treadmill and I do all these things, well, sure, your your heart's going to get healthier. It's good to work out. But if your goal is to lose fat, put your body into a state of, of plenity when it comes to the nutrients it needs to recover, then your body's going to do what it needs to do to build. So if you're planning to build muscle, the only way to do that is, yes, lift weights, do resistance training, but also you need to eat protein. Um, I, I can't tell you or stress you enough, um, you know, there's, there's no way that you're going to build muscle without getting the essential amino acids in your diet. So focus on protein, try to limit the other things, and then there's also essential fatty acids, and it's the exact same concept. So eat right and keep working out.